Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 18. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we delete a page on plugin deactivation. In the last video, we had seen that while plugin activation, how can we create a WordPress page. So if I back to our database, now inside this, remember inside last video on plugin activation, we have created a page. If I go to WP post table, because this table contains all the posts what we have created inside our WordPress setup. Now inside this table, we can see that this is the page we have created called simple page content book tool with the post slug we have called book underscore tool. Again, if we want to check this page at this WordPress setup or at admin label, go to pages section. Now this is the page we have created called book tool. If we open into, into a new tab and this is our page. So inside this video, what basically we want? We want that when plugin deactivates then this page should be removed from our database as well as from this WordPress setup. To remove any post from WordPress setup, we have a function called wp underscore delete underscore post. Inside this function, we need to pass some parameters. The first parameter is something post ID. And this ID is something, if we are talking about this page, it is a post type page. Go here and this is 81 number, it's a post ID. So on the behalf of 81 number ID and passing true value here, actually we can delete that post from our table. So back to editor. Now as we know that by using this deactivator file inside this includes folder, we can make our own functions. Already in the last videos, inside this deactivate method, we are dropping our tables what we have created. Now inside this, let's delete page when plugin, let's say uninstalls. How can we find about the post ID? As we know, know about the post slug, go to activator and here inside this activate method of this activator file which runs when the plugin activates. And this is the method or the query we have written to find about the details of that post. And inside this query, I think that we have some mistake. And mistake is that actually we are creating this post by the help of this slug called book underscore tool. And remember, we are selecting data on the basis of book hyphen tool. So we need to change this book underscore tool because while creating before this page, we are checking about the existence of this slug inside this table. So that's why we need to update that. So if I copy this git data, go here, pasting it here. Now by the help of this query, we need to select the ID. If I back to table and the ID we have with the name called capital ID. So ID from WP post table where post name equal to book tool. So let's say if, if I write WP DB, let's say last query, I need to check that what is the query we are generating via this. Save these changes, back to our WordPress panel, go to plugins, Click on deactivate and this is the query we are generating if I copy back to table, open up SQL tab into a new tab, pasting it here and pressing enter button. Now here as we can see that we are getting 81 number ID. So by the help of this ID, we need to delete our created page post from WordPress database. Go to editor 
let's say that here page ID equal to let's say get data and this is the ID let's say if page ID greater than 0 it means we have a page in our table so let's say WP delete post and inside this we need to pass some parameters and the first parameter is all about our post ID so here is the page ID and we are passing true value here it means forcefully we want to delete that so let's say delete post WP function now if we save all these changes back to our WordPress panel go here reload this page once and if I click on deactivate while clicking on that this deactivate method will be fired inside this method we are dropping two tables as well as we are deleting one page go here click on deactivate plugin deactivated successfully go to pages section and as we can see that successfully we have deleted that page what we have created again back to table and if I reload this page and inside this table change to descending order and we can see that the page has been deleted from this table again if I click on plugin activation go to plugins list click on activate button two tables we have created inside this database as well as one page we have created right here so again if I go to plugins list click on deactivate and successfully we have deleted that so inside this video session guys we had seen that how can we use our WP delete post function and by the help of this function how can we delete page on plugin deactivation so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day